After Russia's newly elected president got teary-eyed declaring his victory, allegations of electoral fraud have spoiled the party and provoked an outcry both at home and abroad. Claims that the election was far from fair have served to challenge the validity of the result, which saw a commanding 64% of the vote go to Vladimir Putin. Protests in Moscow and St. Petersburg saw riot police step in with heavy-handed tactics and huge numbers. Hundreds of protesters were arrested and hauled off due to what officials deemed unsanctioned protests. Yet the anger remains palpable. International election monitors have said the result was rigged even before the vote began. The point of election is that their outcome should be uncertain. This was not the case in Russia. The biggest problem with this election is that there was no real competition. During the actual vote, monitors reported widespread fraud, with thousands of individual incidents being recorded. This hidden camera footage, one of many, allegedly shows men stuffing ballot boxes with votes. The European Union has joined the United States in an international chorus of concern, urging Russia to swiftly investigate the observers' allegations. They have identified uh, certain shortcomings both in the preparations and the conduct of these elections and uh, overall uh, we share their assessment. We are encouraging Russia to address these shortcomings. Cries of fraud have emboldened protesters who, in rallies across the country, chanted slogans like Russia without Putin and vowed not to give up their fight. I will stay here until Putin goes away. I will not leave and let's all stay until Putin leaves. Russia without Putin. Perhaps predictably, Russian election officials say the vote was completely fair and have vowed to point out all the flaws in the American presidential election in November.